know why we're here, right? So I think I did it. Why would I kill her? She's my sunshine. So what happened? Burglary. Burglary? Yeah. Is anything taken? No. So you mean to tell me someone broke into your house and didn't take anything? You didn't get a chance to. So what exactly happened? Me and my lovely wife was having dinner as we normally do on a Thursday night. I walked in from work and dinner was already done. Honey, dinner's ready. She was such an amazing woman. We began eating and talking about each other's day. So how was your day? My day was great. You know, today was my day out, so it's like a self-care day. You know, I went to the mall, went to the spa, did a little shopping. It was a beautiful conversation and a wonderful meal. She really outdid herself. You really outdid yourself. I've been trying some new recipes. I'm glad you like it. Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. You expecting somebody? No. As the man, it is my obligation to get up and check. But I didn't. She said she would get it and I let her. I'll get it. I don't think he knew that I was there. You got any weapons in the house? Yeah, a gun upstairs in the bedroom. So what happened after she opened the door? As soon as she opens the door, he stabs her. I managed to rustle him to the ground, and the outcome was his life. If only I got up and answered the door, she would still be here. Sorry, we wanted to take you in for the question there. If your story lines up, you should be free to go. Take him in. I think it was another detective on the case. The SARS didn't think we handled this one on your own, man. So he sent you? Why wouldn't he? You think he did it? Yeah, it's hard to say. So the story was, it was eating dinner at the table. I mean, food's on the table, checks out. Yeah, but it's not much food missing. And he said they had a beautiful conversation. So that means they sat longer. Maybe the conversation was so beautiful that they didn't get a chance to eat before the intruder came. I doubt it. He said she outdid herself this time. And if she really outdid herself, there'd be more food missing than that. Okay. So next, they get a knock at the door. He said he didn't get up. She did. She walks over to the door, opens it, and immediately gets stabbed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who opens the door without looking to see who it is first? Exactly. Then he gets up. He goes over and wrestles the intruder. Gets him down, stabs him with his own knife. Come on. You believe that? Not really. But there's no evidence to say that he did. Hopefully forensics can make things more clear. So I really had I told you. And I'm not saying anything else until I speak to my lawyer. If you're telling me the truth now, I could lighten up blow for you. You do know if I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't, right? It's not like you really have a choice. Everybody has a choice. There were several different opportunities for me to escape. Even now. Did you do it? I'm innocent until proven guilty. So prove me guilty. I will. I would like to tell you a quick story, though. If you have time. Earlier today, I met a woman. She was out eating lunch by herself, so I sat down and introduced myself. Funny thing is, she was married. But that didn't stop her. Oh, you're married. Marriage can be such a beautiful thing.
We went back to her house and I made sweet love to her. Can you believe that? Yeah, me neither. Would you like to know her name? I don't think that's really important. Well, I do. Her name was Angela. How do you know my wife's name? Because with more light than you realize, your whole life is a lie, and it's only a matter of time before you find out. What do you mean? I would like to tell you another story, if I may. But I need you to turn off that audio recording. I came home early from work today. I got that new book called Sunshine from the best-selling author Terrell Johnson, so I couldn't wait. I begin reading. It's a beautiful book, by the way. While reading the book, I had my wife moaning from upstairs. Now the only person that should be making my wife moan is who? I'm guessing you. Exactly. But I was downstairs reading a book. So it couldn't have been me. What did you do? Only what anybody in their right mind would do. I continued to read and let them have their fun. Funny thing is that in the book, the guy's wife was having an affair as well. So I'm sitting there reading about a man's wife having an affair while mine is upstairs doing the same exact thing. What happened next? Eventually they came downstairs. And do you know what she had the audacity to say to me? H honey, I, I didn't know you'd be back home so soon. Something just snapped inside of me. Funny thing is, I got the idea from the book. If you gave her what she needed, then she wouldn't need me. Then you gave her what she needs? Yeah, nigga. But he didn't have to die. My problem was with her. I'm gonna get you to the count of three to leave. Or else what? Three. Like this shit's supposed to scare me. Two. I ain't moving, nigga. One. <laughs> I killed them both. And then I went to lunch to take my mind off of things. But the evidence will come back in favor of the story I told you back at the house. I made sure of it. I'll be out by the morning. Detective. Tell your wife I said hi. Baby, come here and get this.